the German Chancellor and the party leadership had numerous bodyguard units over the years which provided security. Some of them belonged to the German army, others to the German police. The most important units were the Begleit Battalion, the Reichsziherheitsdienst and the Begleit Kommando. The Escort Battalion was formed in 1939, right before the start of the war. It had the task of protecting Hitler's military headquarters and accompanying him when visiting battlefronts. It also was responsible for all luggage that traveled with Hitler and his staff. The detachment was moved to the Eastern Front with headquarters in the Wolfschanze or Wolfslayer. While the escort battalion was being refitted for service on the Eastern Front, Hitler ordered it to head west in late 1944, along with most of its vehicles and personnel, to prepare for the Arden Offensive, for which it would be expanded into a brigade. This unit was placed under the command of Colonel Otto Rehmer. The new escort brigade was essentially a restructured tank brigade with units created from whatever personnel were available. Its combat strength included tanks, assault guns, two organic Panzergrenadier battalions and a self-propelled artillery battalion. Committed to the front on the 18th of December 1944, the escort brigade saw action against the U.S. Army 101st Airborne Division at Bastogne. On the 26th of January 1945, the brigade was ordered to expand and sent to east to help defend the Vistula Front against massing Red Army forces. It was trapped and finally destroyed there in April of 1945. Originally bodyguards for Hitler, it later provided men for the protection of other high-ranking leaders of the regime. Its role included personal security, investigation of assassination plots, surveillance of locations before the arrival of governmental dignitaries, and wetting buildings as well as guests. The security service had the power to request assistance from any other police organization. The security service was founded in March 1933 under the command of Standartenführer, so Colonel Johann Rattenhuber. Its members consisted of criminal police detectives from the Bavarian police. Since the group was made up of Bavarian police officers, First, they could only operate within the area of their authority. Although Himmler was officially named chief, Rattenhuber remained in command and took his orders for the most part from Hitler himself. The security service worked together with other units for security and personal protection during trips and public events. For those occasions, Rattenhuber would be in overall command. Before the trip, the security service had the responsibility of checking the route, the buildings along the route, and the places which were to be visited. On the outbreak of the war, the security service had 200 men in its ranks. By 1944, there were 17 RSD units protecting the German leadership. Rattenhuber was also responsible for securing Hitler's field headquarters. In particular, the FBB guarded the Wolfslayer near the town of Rastenburg. The Wolfslayer had three security zones. Sperkreis 1, so Security Zone 1, was located at the heart of the Wolfslayer. Ringed by steel fencing and guarded by RSD men, it contained Hitler's bunker and ten other camouflaged bunkers. By early 1945, Germany's military situation was on the verge of total collapse. 
in January of 1945, Rattenhuber accompanied Hitler and his entourage into the bunker complex under the Reich Chancellery Garden in the central governmental sector of Berlin. RSD men were stationed outside the bunker entrances. After Hitler committed suicide on the 30th of April 1945, Rattenhuber and the remaining RSD officers were taken prisoner by the Soviet Red Army. After the war, Rattenhuber served 10 years in prison before being released in 10th of October 1955. The escort commando was originally an eight-man squad tasked with protecting the life of Hitler during the early 1930s. The commando was under separate command from RSD and provided close personal security for Hitler. The two units worked together for Hitler's security and protection, especially during trips and public events though they operated at such events as separate groups and used separate vehicles. The commando accompanied Hitler on all his travels and was always present at the different HQs throughout the war. When on duty, the commando members were the only armed personnel Hitler allowed to be near him. By January of 1943, the commando had expanded to 31 officers and 112 men. 33 were used for escort duties, rotating in groups of 11. The rest were used as guards for residences. Obersturmbannführer, so Major Franz Schadel, was appointed the last commander of the unit on the 5th of January 1945. On the 16th of January, Schadel accompanied Hitler and his entourage into the bunker complex under the Reich Chancellery Garden in the central governmental sector of Berlin. The commando moved into the bunker. By 23rd of April 1945, Schadel commanded approximately 30 members of the unit who stood guard for Hitler until his suicide on the 30th of April 1945. After Hitler's death, a briefing conference was held where prior orders were implemented that those who could do so were to break out from the central governmental sector and join other German formations. Schadel committed suicide by shooting himself in the mouth with a pistol rather than attempt to break out from the surrounded chancery area. <laughs>